We got them stacked and we've got the grandstands packed. Let's go racing off at turn number four. We are green. Battle for the top spot into turn number one. Rico Abreu slides up the racetrack. Corey Day goes down to the bottom. They swap lines off at turn number two. Abreu going to lead him into three. In exchange for the third spot, give it to Justin Peck. He makes his way around the outside of Brad Sweet. Sweet tries to throw a slider on him late in the corner. They're not going to get there in time. And Justin Peck quickly into the third spot on the back bumper. Corey Day in turn number two. Very close call down the front stretch last time by between Anthony Macri and Brian Brown. They nearly banged wheels as Brown throws a slider across the nose and Anthony Macri crosses back underneath them. Anthony Macri has that position down the front straightaway. He is in the seventh spot trying to make his way forward and be a two-time Race Redeem Foundation race winner. Top of turn oh, number one. Over there. The, yeah, in our blind spot, Casey Kane. Oh, from the drone. Going to be on the left side here of your screen. Going to be bottom left. He, yeah, hit the oh, yeah. wall right there, Blake. And rode all the way down. Yeah, Wyndham right there with him, it looked like. Still plenty of time for somebody to make a move on Rico Eber as we head back to green. Another good start for Rico, but look at Parker Price Miller out of the gates on the three wide for second into one. Oh boy, Parker Price Miller feeling feisty here tonight. Moves into the second spot looking for that first win of the year with Kubota Highland Racing, and it would be a big one, one that would pay $26,000. And he's trying to track down Rico Eber for the top spot. How about Justin Peck into the fourth spot, trying for third? Shot by Brad Sweet, now turning the heat up on Corey Day off a of turn two. Justin Peck looking strong, got by Brad Sweet, now looking for a slider into turn number three. Down to the bottom, now up to the top. Justin Peck up into the third spot, across the nose of Corey Day, and Justin Peck's got third at the line. Sean Strasburg spinning the wrenches on that boot, Motorsports 13. Oh, Justin Peck got pushed up the racetrack there. Corey Day takes the spot back, and now Peck falls to the clutches of Brad Sweet. Sweet looks to the inside for four. Close call right there as Sweet nearly got over the left side tires of Justin Peck. Peck protects the bottom of the turn number one. That's going to really mess up the entry for the 49 car, Brad Sweet. Here comes Anthony Macri, a huge run on Sweet down the back straightaway. Whoa. Macri, whoa, that was a close call right there. Your Kubota Highland Racing point leader nearly getting wiped out in turn three. Far off the pace, front straight. Way Jack Wagner, the caution will come out. Boy, that's probably exactly what yes. Rico Abreu wanted to see there. Parker Price Miller, green flag set to come back out. Rico on the gas early as they head back to the restart. Oh, we got some contact. Four wide off the court. Everybody's going to keep on going. Blake. Wow, I thought McFadden was getting upside down there. You saw the car hop and some cars off the pace on the front starts, but the back of the pack of the yellow is going to fly. That was a chaotic restart. Yeah. We got one off the pit. Chris Windham. Box, and they'll do it again here. And PPM was sticking right with them as they work off a of turn number four. Good restart for Corey David. Cannot pass before that cone. PPM still with second. Justin Peck underneath the Corey Day. Looking for that third spot off a of turn number two. Corey Day with a big run down the back stretch, starting to close in on PPM. As here comes the 39 of Anthony Macri. Good battle for third and turn four. Corey Day around the outside takes it back away from Justin Peck. And a good move right there from Corey Day around the outside. Now looking to track down the 9P at Parker Price Miller. The concrete kid, Anthony Macri, starting the challenge Justin Peck they're nearly side by side for the four spot Peck works off the high side Macri down to the bottom wheel to wheel Anthony Macri challenging is there wing to wing off the turn four move Anthony Macri up a spot on the leaderboard Rico still over a straightaway away from lap traffic plenty of clean air out in front of him but look at the battle for fourth and fifth off a of turn four yeah, three car battle for that third spot Justin Peck now to the inside oh Macri tried to shut the door on him but Justin Peck went right through it anyways Peck back to fourth Macri dives it off the corner comes back after the boot motor sports third He's got fourth back into turn three. Great race for this third and fourth spot. Wow, talk about high stakes poker here at I-70 between Anthony Macri and Justin Peck battling for the fourth spot, one spot out of the podium. Corey Day, if he had a rear view mirror, he'd be entertained by the battle behind him. Yeah, Corey Day still running in that third spot. The last time by Rico Abreu was two tenths faster than Parker Price Miller. He's now getting the back of the field, trying to get by Jason Martin and Roger Crockett. That time by another tenth was faster than was, was Rico Abreu. So Parker Price Miller not closing in, but thick lap traffic is just ahead for the number 24 car. Rico Abreu. He'll shoot past the defending ASCS National Sprint Car Champion. And Jason Martin now has a pair, uh, one lap car between himself and Parker Price Miller. PPM now has a clear track out of him because Jason Martin pulls into the infield. Jason Martin into the infield. We will stay green. The race for fourth, still a good one between Anthony Macri and Justin Peck. The lap car of Roger Crockett there as a pick. We'll see. Peck goes around the outside. Macri's going to have to avoid the bottom of the racetrack to get around Crockett. Rico goes to the middle. Kind of uh, washes up the speedway right there. Gets a little bit sideways. And Parker Price Miller takes another two tenths out of the race lead. But now Rico's got a lap car Caution. between itself and PPM. Yellow for Corey Day. Last night's winner off the pace on the front stretch. Corey Day with an issue. Off of turn number four. Back underway. Good restart for Macri. They are going to challenge the inside as here comes Justin Peck going at it. They're battling for third. Peck closing it on Parker Price Miller for second. Parker Price Miller trying to hang on to that second spot. Macri with another big move. He's been doing this the entire race. He's into the third spot looking at Parker Price Miller for
for second down the front straight away. That is high stakes chicken right there. Who is going to lift first? PPM now has company, and that's exactly what Rico wants to see. A battle for second as laps wind away this time by two to go. Matt Reed second. now underneath the Parker Price Miller. He's up into the second spot, man. In this race, at five more laps, Macri may be a challenge for the race win here tonight. But it looks like Rico Abreu's got a pretty big advantage as they come to the white flag next time by. Rico Abreu going to come to the white flag with one to go. He's a half mile away from $26,000 in a back-to-back -back win here at the Race Redeem Foundation race and be the first repeat winner of this event in six renditions. Off of turn number two and down the back straightaway. It looks like it's going to happen as he makes his way into turns three and four. Rico Abreu now the back-to-back -back winner of the Race Redeem Foundation race at I-70 Speedway. Anthony Macri second, Parker Price Miller in third, Justin Peck fourth, and Brad Sweet finishes up in fifth.